in this exercise we will learn how to assign the resources and cost accounts and after assigning the uh, um, resources we have to enter the budgeted units for each activity so uh, for assigning the uh, resources you can see that uh, this activity uh, detail should be enabled if it is not appearing you have to uh, select this option and this window uh, bottom window will appear so after uh, uh, opening this window you can select this uh, resource tab and here is the option add resources suppose we are going to assign the uh, resources to the engineering activity of architecture suppose there uh, uh, suppose there is a basic engineering activity in general we are going to assign some resources there are some resources activity. so i am going to uh, select the activity first of all highlighting the activity then again uh, uh, going to the resource tab add resource and i will see the list of resources which uh, which we have created earlier so uh, here i would like to assign uh, the uh, two different uh, some different resources for this activity suppose uh, i am going to uh, select the usman as a design engineer for this so i'm just simply uh, select this one and uh, uh, assign this option here you can see at the bottom its uh, uh, its uh, um, uh, resource is assigned and then um, if i want to select another person for example there is a kamran uh, i can simply select this one and use this button or other way is to just double click you can uh, see at the bottom the resources are being added i am going to add some other resources as well zishan and uh, one uh, hasan so these are the persons who are uh, involvement of the basic engineering after that uh, you can see here the, there are the budgeted units uh, uh, option here we have to define some uh, man hours for each activity uh, by default uh, here you can see 80 units are coming for each activity as you know that uh, it's an uh, we have assigned head office calendar uh, head office calendar was defined eight hours per day so simply uh, this multiply eight multiply by ten and you can see here the budgeted units as 80 but uh, we have to modify uh, this uh, uh, budgeted units so for example uh, i i i ho hoping that uh, uh, hassan is going to work for 40 hours kamran is working for 32 hours for this activity uh, usman is going to work for 48 hours and zishan is working for 32 hours so in this way i will add uh, the budgeted units for the activities and uh, after this i told you that uh, how uh, in the at the same moment we will assign the cost accounts for the, the activities as well um, uh, here you can see that uh, uh, the to uh, cost account column is uh, showing here so i will select here uh, uh, click this button and you can see that all the cost accounts are appearing uh, here so uh, i am going to add uh, uh, the cost account of design engineer so uh, all of these are designers so i'm going to use the same uh, uh, same uh, uh, cost account Um, then uh, if I will go I will tell you another way of uh, the resources to the activity uh, I'm going to select this activity uh, engineering architecture of main production hall so uh, previously I told you that you can see here at the bottom resource tab and uh, another way is to just right click and you can go to the assign option and resource and same uh, um, window will be appeared for the assigning resources for example we are going to select ahmed for this activity to this activity and here you can see by default 350 units are coming by multiplying 42 with a 44 with 8 but i am going to modify here that uh, uh, for example this person is going to work for uh, 300 hours so i'm just uh, clicking here as and modifying uh, 352 as 300 then i am going to select the cost account so here you can see cost account uh, design engineer so in this way i will assign the um, uh, resources and uh, will change the budgeted units and after that i will uh, change the cost accounts cost accounts are used for the if you have assigned the wrong resources to the activities to respective activity then there is an option of uh, removing those uh, 
uh, wrongly assigned uh, resources as well so uh, here is a, uh, there are two options simply click here remove and you can uh, delete this resource with this activity and other option is to right click and go to the assign option resources and here you can see that uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, red button is highlighting for removing uh, this Ahmad is associated or attached with this activity you can see here so here this window uh, remove option is appearing here but if uh, you are click on other button which is uh, with other resources which are not assigned so it will not highlight so uh, clicking on the exact resource which is assigned I will click here remove button it will delete the that resource see this activity on which we have to assign uh, manpower resource as well as material I am selecting this activity highlighting this activity then go to the resource tab add resource and I have to select the uh, uh, respective person which is assigned to this activity suppose Asim is the person who is the field engineer this is an activity of civil so there are some material will be uh, assigned to this activity I'm going to select excavation, RCC, and PCC. Now I have to change the budgeted units. Suppose Asim is working for 320 hours on this activity. Excavation, the unit of, uh, you know that uh, we have defined uh, uh, a resource as a uh, per cubic meter. Uh, so here uh, we have to define the quantity of excavation suppose 80 cubic meter we are going to do for this activity same is the case for the PCC 15 cubic meter RCC 70 cubic meter after uh, uh, assigning the resources and uh, uh, adding the budget units then we have to select the cost account um, uh, uh, field engineer then excavation excavation will come under the uh, cost account of construction now i want to see all of these uh, resources in the columns so i'm uh, i will right click here go to the columns option and i will go to the units folder here i am going to add budgeted labor units Budgeted labor units means man hours. Budgeted lower, no labor units means machinery. Then I am going in the field of cost. I also want to see the cost associated with labor units, no labor units, and material. So I am going to select here budgeted labor cost, budgeted non labor cost, budgeted material cost budget total cost and budget expense cost uh, we can also see the expenses which we have assigned to some of the activities labor units non labor units labor cost non labor cost material cost total cost and expense cost apply here you can see that at the top the total man hours are showing here 17468 non labor units 1560 and cost associated with this labor unit is 378,000 non labor cost $83,000 and budgeted material cost is 3.4 million and expense cost which we have assigned in the by going into the expenses tab it is showing here at the top as well so uh, this total cost includes the cost of labor non labor material and expense if you will add manually you can see that this will be the total project cost that is showing at the top of the project so you can also see WPSYS cost right click collapse all this is the level 1 level 2 on each level you can see the material cost construction cost and expense cost everything you can see here by collapsing it to respective or required level suppose we want to see at the level 4 then you can see this one that 
on the activity level detail activity level you can see all the resource assignments I can add a column of the cost account here as well and find the cost accounts here you can see in the list folder you can see cost account IDs cost account bring it at the at this stage supply you can see that cost account IDs 1001 which we have defined earlier are showing here from here you can also see that if any cost account is missing you can select and assign that uh, activity cost account as well here is the details is a description of cost accounts which are associated with these activities and if you want to change the name of these headings you can do right click columns for example you want to say that labor units uh, you want to rename it as a man hours I am going to edit a column I will uh, mention here new title as man hours then apply ok no labor units you can say machinery machinery hours or machine hours just change the title then here I will going to change labor cost means man hours cost In the same way you can say machinery cost apply and you can see that the title is uh, changed here man hours machinery hours man hour cost machinery cost etc you can save this uh, after changing uh, these columns headings or assigning these resources uh, you can change this layout as a resource layout so that you don't need to change every time you don't need to add the columns every time so just you are going to save this layout with the name of resources